is Financial Literacy Month in Canada. So today, we're in beautiful downtown Vancouver, and it's raining as always, to talk to Canadians about what financial literacy means to them. Do you have a second to talk about financial literacy? Uh, sure. So what does financial literacy mean to you? Uh, freedom. To be honest, I don't know much about financial literacy. I guess it would mean uh, how savvy are you in terms of your own financial well-being? It's having a bit of an understanding about your finances. And I think it's something that it's not taught in our schools, uh, the way that we have our school system set up. I actually have an interesting statistic that for every dollar in disposable income a Canadian has, they actually owe in debt $1.67. $1.67, yeah, so I'm not surprised. I mean, Canadians love credit. That is horrible. If they live in Vancouver, they probably owe more. The debt isn't the issue, it's repaying the debt. And that's one of the problems with financial literacy and not understanding it. 47% of Canadians don't even have three months of savings in their emergency funds. That's insane. Wow, that's, that's a big number. Yeah, I, that's not good. Getting more and more difficult to do so. Things are more expensive, people owe more. It's harder to put things aside. I think that that's a very disturbing fact in 47%. You know, I was even thinking when you were saying that it'd be something lower. Half of Canadians over the age of 50 don't actually have a plan for retirement savings. It's a sad commentary of our times. When you're lacking the financial literacy skills, then that money is just not there. Can't be worked on? Yes, I believe it can. If this been taught to the people, that would make the, uh, our Canadian much more stronger financially. 